We welcome you back into Morning Moments with Jesus today. I pray you had a great day yesterday. As we begin our devotion time this morning, it comes out of Psalm chapter 3. And as I was reading Psalms 3 this morning, the Lord reminded me through His Spirit that often in life our spiritual condition is reflected in our physical position. In other words, if you'll look at people sometimes, you can often tell where they are where they are in their lives, if they're happy, if they got joy, or if there's a sadness or a concern uh, on, upon their lives or based on their facial expressions, but often how, they, how we carry ourselves in our head down or up, those types of things uh, are an indicator of where we are spiritually in our lives as well. And that's kind of what David was talking about here in Psalm chapter 3. He says, Many there be which say, of my soul there is no help for him in God but you O Lord are a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head I cried unto the Lord with my voice and he heard me out of his holy hill I laid me down and slept I awake for the Lord sustained me see there's two two things going on here at the same time and David had to make a decision about what he was going to believe and how that belief was going to play out in his daily life so so watch what he's doing here in verse number two he come to the realization that not everybody has the same view of his God that he does and you and I have to realize that That just because you may have a tremendous belief that God is able to do the supernatural in your life, that does not mean that everybody does. But if they come against you with negativity about your God, it is your choice whether that is going to suppress you or whether it is going to to allow you to, to manifest that and show them just how powerful your God is to bring you through troubled times or disheartening times with joy and peace and, and, and allow the Lord to do those things in your life that they say can't be done. See, that's the power of being a believer, guys, is to watch the supernatural, miraculous power of God play out in our lives and then watch the unbelievers say their God must be real. To do the things that he's doing in their lives. And so in verse 3. He begins to say to God. Not to them but to God. Who, who you are God to me. That's what David is saying. He is reaffirming who God is in his life. Listen to what he says. O oh Lord you are a shield for me. When it seems like. The whole world is against me. When it feels like there's something caving in on every side, when relationships aren't going right, when when jobs aren't going right, when the finances aren't going right, when, when even those times when everything seems to be going right, but yet I seem to be depressed or, or discouraged, you are my protector. You protect me from myself. You protect me from the enemy. You protect me from my surroundings. That's who you are, God, to me. So, you being my shield and you being my glory, I'm counting on you today, God, to lift my head up. Don't let me walk around discouraged. Don't let me walk around looking down and miss the beauty of what's around me today. Miss the beauty of the heavens today. Lift my head up, O Lord. And in verse number 4, he says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me. It's almost like he's telling his enemies, listen, when I pray to God, I know my God hears me. And not only does he hear me, but I am confident that he will give me the desires in which I petition him for. So what's the conclusion? David says in verse number 5, So I'm going to lay down and I'm going to sleep. 
And when I awake, I know it is God and God alone who has sustained me. So today, if you're a little discouraged or a little too busy to just look around and enjoy life, you're about your business with your head down and, and, and about the task, slow down today. Take just a little while to lift up your head. Allow God to lift it up and see the beauty of what really is around you. God, you're my protector. You're my provider. You're the only one who can lift me up above my circumstances. And I know that when I call to you, you hear me. So I can rest knowing that when I woke up this morning, it was only you that sustained me through the night. I pray this devotion has been a blessing to you today. And I pray that perhaps you can pass it along to somebody else. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, I pray a blessing over you. I pray a blessing over your life, over your finances, over your job, over your marriages, over your children, over everything that concerns you. I pray over it this morning. You be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And you go out and have a great and wonderful day.